I'm shaking. Earthquake. Oh, oh I think I'm shaking the door too. Whoa. Woo. Success. Ugh. Oh man. Fail. <laughs> Success. These freaking cicadas, man. It's like a family photo. Yeah. These cicadas literally are so loud, dude. I don't get, I don't get it. But yeah, they're really bad right now. What we want to do today is one last transfer into the Corolla because the Corolla may be going away. <gasps> Whoops. Well, we're gonna get rid of the Corolla, but because of how important it is to Charisma and how she's had it forever. We're gonna try to keep it in the fam, so maybe going to Pops. It's the first car that I purchased, that I paid for myself, insurance, everything. Uh -huh. And so it means a lot to me. But we had to make a big girl and big boy purchase for another vehicle that makes more sense uh, for our family. So yeah, yeah, it's in the background. You might be able to see a little bit of it. Exactly. We'll give you a little tour in a minute. We're yeah. super excited about it. So this car transfer that we're about to do, we did one, it was one of our first videos actually, way, way back. It was also the first time we had ever tried doing it. It was interesting to say the least. Your knee is on my JJ Cole. You can't go anywhere. I, quite the uh, effort to get in there. Yeah, the way we did it just didn't make sense. And it was the second time we did it, we're like, oh, let's film this. And it was not the best transfer. And we don't even do it like that at all. Like the third time, we did not even, we did not even yeah. do it the same way. And so we've come a long way. So it's really cool to see how far we've come in terms of transfers and working together as a team. When you're watching this, keep in mind, I'm a C5 and C6 quadriplegic, so that gives you an idea of my function for those who are learning for like, or watching for educational purposes. I have no tricep function, so like my arm just falls down, no hand function and no core function. So I rely on charisma for a lot of stuff, but I do help through my arms, which we'll show. Because this is the technique that works best for us, doesn't mean it'll be the best for somebody else. Mm -hmm. If it works for you too, that's great. Awesome. I just remember, what? I remember I put the sliding board because that's uh, important. Yes, the sliding board is very important because you want to bridge that gap between the chair and the car seat. And without the sliding board, there's just going to be a hole. You slide it under my butt, it covers onto the seat and then, or covers the gap to the seat and you slide right over. This is what it looks like. You put the, wait, where do you put the, uh, and your bootay. Put that under the booty because it's grippy and you don't want it to slide out because then you fall into the hole. So. But you don't put this. You don't put it this way. You put it this way under the butt. Yep. So you slide on this, but this will stick to whatever surface you're coming from and won't allow the board to move. Hopefully, I won't get a bunch of splinters like last time. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it was really bad. If you have splinters coming from your board, it's time for a new board. Are you kidding me? It's past time for a new yeah, board. Yeah, that's true. All right, we have all of our million different cameras set up here. Put my brakes on. Ugh, there it is. There you go. Oh, hey, there I am. What's up, dude? It's good to see you. You're good looking, babe. Aw, that's so kind. Mm -hmm. Wait, she's going to put the board under first, and then I'm going to kind of try to throw my hips onto it by using leverage through my cane back here. So this part, under the booty. Under the booty. Lift your left leg up. Lift your right leg up. Your left leg up and shake it all about. Oh, spazzing. We sang two different songs. I know. I was okay. singing the hokey pokey. Okay. Oh, I'm sneezing coming in hard. Oh, I burn. Bless you. All right, hip throwing commence. Ugh. My hips are now on the board. Yes. Now, because I have no core, I'm just going to lean against the door pretty much with my forehead, and that'll help me stay up. And then Charisma will use my waist strap to kind of guide my butt along the board into the chair as I push through my arms. Is that right? Is that right? I mean, is that, mm -hmm. say that right? Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh. spazzed right back out. <laughs> oh, I'm shaking. Earthquake. Oh, oh, I think I'm shaking the door too. Whoa. Dude, Don't my leg. It. I'm going to try not to hit that camera, but I very well may. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, can we give Armando a clap? One, two, three. Armando is our editor. You can leave that in, Armando, so everybody knows that it's your amazing skill that's been doing a lot of these videos. Yes! 
right. helps us out tremendously. Aww. Yeah, he's coming down this weekend. So Cole uses the dashboard ready? as a way to help with transfer. Yep. All right, this is a magic moment. You ready? Yes. All right, here we go. I'm gonna use the door so this might shake a little bit. <laughs> Oh. And his feet Chicken. just kind of kicked out of whew, the position anyway, so. Earthquake, are y'all shaking? No one really drive, rides in my car, because I don't drive that often. And so I assumed it was in the same position. Um, the last time we did a transfer with Cole, but it probably isn't. So yeah, make sure that you check the position of the seat. The further back you have it, the easier the transfer is going to be for everyone. Just look at my knees. Oh, oh. there it is. How do I feel? This is the part where I take a nap. Good night. <laughs> but yeah, so Cole is all the way in. Obviously, we will adjust his feet more, put him in whatever placement we need to put him in. But sometimes it's easier to just come from the back seat and pull that way, or just to kind of bend over and finagle it. So you want to try to finagle real quick. Cole is going to come forward, and then I've got to get a good hand position in one, two, three. Nice. Now I'm sitting nice and tall. I kind of just like put, use my knee as some grounding too, and then just like use my knee with my hands and just kind of slide them. All right. Well, that went a lot better than the first one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we knew that. Yeah, because we've gotten so much better. But it'll show you how to get out. I think getting out is a lot easier than getting. I don't know. They're they're both pretty easy. So basically, you want to just put the seat base in the same exact position. Make sure you always lock the brake, y'all. Always lock the brake. Yeah, that's very important, obviously. <laughs> Once again, this part goes under the butt so that this, it doesn't move from where he's coming from or when, where they're coming from. All right, I want to bring my leg over to where we're going, but we leave it in the vehicle and they just kind of straighten out as we get my butt all the way across. Yep. And then we pull them up just like normal. Ready? Ready, ready. All right, let me go head butt the dashboard. Well, I always stay behind Cole during these transfers. The first time we tried, I tried to fit in that little space right here. Didn't work, as you can see. So yeah, always behind, and then he has the ability to use whatever he needs with his head to transfer. He's not gonna fall forward. I don't think we've ever gotten worried that that would happen. Ready? Yep. All right. Cool. So you have moments where- <laughs> <laughs> so you have moments where like you may lose a grip, something may slide, but you just wait a little bit, figure stay out, calm. stay calm, figure out what the solution is, adjust what you need to adjust, and then figure out. When you stay calm in situations, things are less likely to go uh, uh, awry. I'm just bringing my legs over. You saw they just kind of naturally straightened out along the along the way. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Now one more little twist for the board. Would you do the honors, my lady? Mm -hmm. Take out the board. <gasps> so strong. Cool. Okay. Okay. And then Whew. slide okay. out of this. Pin. Breaks off, and then we'll readjust. But y'all have seen that before, so. Okay. Whew. Success. Ugh. Oh man. Phil, <laughs> success. All right, van tour? Yes, van life. yes. All right, let's show it off, baby. Yeah, I went in earlier, so it should be open. Let's, it is not. Let me go get the keys. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Keep an eye on the back of the van as the ramp comes out. You'll see something cool. I might drop down. Look at her go. Y'all see that? It might have been hard you to see. see. Well, if you didn't see it, what happened was the back side of the van here also lowered. It's on hydraulics and it's what's called a kneel feature. And what that allows for is much less steep ramp. And vans that don't have this kneel feature, when I try to go up the ramp, I can't really do it on myself. But with the kneel, depending on the surface, um, I can sometimes get in all on my own, which is really nice. I love having that independence. What a beast. This is the van. Wait, do we have a name yet, babe? No. Should we let the uh, subbies name the van? Yeah, what is it? What is Ooh. what is the van's name? My car yeah. here is Pearl. This is my silver bullet. Silver bullet, and yeah. we don't have a name for this car yet. You just said her, so it's gonna be a girl name. I, I don't know. 
I, I always go for girl names when it comes to car, but you know, gender neutral is cool too. Or yeah. dude, or dude name. Yeah. I, I don't care. All right, let's do it. Ah. You want to try to get up on your own? I can't. Oh. The floor is a little dirty right now because we just went on a trip to a cabin in the woods and we took the van. The van was awesome because we have a ton of space to store things and pack things and it drives really well and it's got all the bells and whistles. Charisma loves it, it's like driving on the cloud. My favorite part is that in this vehicle, I actually get to sit beside Charisma. Yeah, here it is. Woo! So you can sit right beside me. And then I can play with her hair and touch her ear and otherwise knack her the entire ride. That sounds amazing. It's great. So the other van, we couldn't do that. That made us sad. So we would always have to do a van transfer for to get Cole into that seat. And that was so much harder for us to do. Now this is way easier and I, I just like um, the convenience of it is amazing. Yes. Something else that's really nice because this has all these really cool features is it has a drop floor and a raised ceiling. I don't have to like duck my head when I roll in, which some vehicles I have to because I'm very tall. It even has this curved section right here, which makes it much easier for turning around in a wheelchair. Yeah. And you can see this thing. <sighs> and that's for all the shorties in their back in the back to put their feet on. <laughs> like me, because it's just so the ceiling is I mean the floor is so dropped that you kinda need this. Even if you're kinda tall, it's just much more comfortable to have. A place to set your feet. Yay. New position, much better to film this way. Oh, is there a little speckle on there? A little speckle? <laughs> we had to record this really early in the morning because it's been like 8,000 degrees here for the past three weeks. Yes, yeah, so, so hot. Oh, can you do this? <laughs> so let's talk about why we got this van because I'm sure you guys are wondering, why would y'all spend all this money to get a van when you have that white van? Mm -hmm. Well, good question. So the white van is not ours. The white van is our parents' van mm -hmm. and we have given it back to them to do with as they please. And we made this choice because we're considering our future. Mm -hmm. With everything it seems like we're spending money on right now, it's investing in our future. And this van is something that we're gonna need for when we have kids. One of the most amazing features of the whole thing is that if I wanted, I could have this outfitted so I could drive it too. You might be wondering where the, this front seat is. Mm -hmm. So you can easily take it out. So right now it is actually in the garage. I'm chilling. Um, because Cole likes to ride beside me and I like him, for him to ride beside me. If we have someone else that we're, you know, taking somewhere, then it takes me about two minutes to get the seat back in here, set it up, very easy to maneuver. This seat that I'm sitting in right now also comes out. If we can take it out, put it in the garage, and then set this up with hand controls, allowing Cole to drive. So in the future, when we have our little babies, mm -hmm. Cole can drive. The lighting just oh, changed yeah. crazy. <laughs> we think it's awesome that Cole has the ability to drive the, this vehicle in the future oh. um, when we have kids, and I don't want to drive, you know, and mm -hmm. the, the truck, it's just like not completely like family friendly. Like it's, yeah, it's nice, but vans are nicer. It's not the best for a little kiddo. It's not the best for like traveling either. Like we could put so much in the van because there's a cover. And I'll be able to take some legs on our road trips, which is cool too. Mm -hmm. So it's, this van's awesome. We yes. love it. We love it. And we, you know, got a really nice deal for this van um, because it's extra large and has a lot of awesome features. And we wouldn't have been able to get that for the price that we got it. So which is why we decided to get this van sooner than waiting, you know, next year or year after because we would paid we would have paid even more than we paid for it. There was a crazy opportunity that came our way and we snatched it. Yes. Up for we're, sure. we're very happy with this purchase. But that is why we're selling our Corolla because we don't need three vans. And we vehicles. need more money. <laughs> yeah, and just can get more money to pay for other things. This is our van tour slash transfer. Thanks for watching everyone. Yeah, you don't want to take this on a spin real quick and then close it out? Let's sure. show them how this thing let's, moves. Let's go. Can I get some nuggets? Yes, what cat nugget would you like? What's the smallest cat? A one. What? Oh, I feel like six. <laughs> With some lemonade, please. You're all set. You have a great day. You too. Thank you, Sonia. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Armando, are you okay? <laughs> we're back. We're back. Yeah, so that um 
GoPro just didn't work as well as we, we had planned it to. Just it was working well. Yeah. And then you went that turn. It wasn't even that bad. We just don't have a mount on it, which we, we have. We just didn't put it on. Mm. Anyways, beyond the point. Lit. That is our lit. <laughs> Anyway, oh. so we got a quick little breakfast while we were out and I got a milkshake at 9 in the morning because <laughs> why not? That is our van tour. Thanks for checking it out. Yes, and uh, wait, you say thank or I said thanks? How do, this is different than how we normally do it. All right, that was our transfer, last one in the Corolla. Yes. And uh, this was our van tour, which will be the first of many uses. So we love this thing. Thanks for watching everyone. Yay. Hopefully this was educational, whatever. Yay. Yay! Don't forget to subscribe and stay positive. Oh yeah. And whip it. Whip game whip proper. It. Whip game proper. Whip whip. <laughs>